Armenian community of um, Boston area, Boston, Massachusetts, United States, welcomed famous cellist Seva Gavanesian. And with the help of um, Amaras Art Alliance organization, we held a beautiful, beautiful concert to benefit the um, Kapan Fest. Uh, many local musicians participated, including Astrid Martirosian. I witnessed that the, the audience were very, very impressed, very excited. to ask Sevak to explain to um, our audience uh, what was this about, what was the cause and um, why this concert was organized. So the Kapan Fest we started, uh, uh, it was actually a dream for most of the musicians to have this musical hub where we can all come and play and I discovered the concert hall in Kapan just by accident. I, we always knew, all of us heard about a concert hall in Kapan that has a legend or acoustic, but we have never had a chance to go there. And in December 22, I played a little concert and I discovered that it's true. This is indeed a beautiful acoustics and it's really top of the line, like very few concert halls in the world. And I say this, uh, with pride and in a way I'm, I'm really sure about this because I have been to enough concert halls to, to say uh, that it's really a top acoustics and it's forgotten by the world. So next morning we were having a breakfast and I had to fly to New York, just it was Kapan New York <laughs> flight. And somebody told me that the mayor of the city is a great guy everybody loves him and he's young and he's progressive and he said just just have a talk with him so i went to meet up with him he was very happy very nice and welcoming and i told him i said i have an idea why don't we do, do a festival here i said let's do it because i was told that if he says something he does it it's yes or no and if it's a yes it's a real yes I said, let's bring some of the greatest musicians and play concerts every day for a week or 10 days. Let's do it. I said, if, if you do certain things, if you can help me with organization, me and my friends will bring a piano. So, so we shook hands and that was it. I went on my concert trip uh, with Lincoln Center and then approximately this time, March, on well, my birthday, March 17, we started a fundraising. I just decided to open a GoFundMe and it was on Facebook. Some friends jumped in, everybody gave little something and we managed to buy a brand new Stanway D, which is also a very, very exceptionally beautiful piano. When we got the Stanway, we also got an offer, thanks to Marta Argerich, we got an offer from Kawaii to get the brand new Shigeru Kawaii Grand Piano for the one-fifth of its original price. Just, just in, in a condition that we will allow Lang Lang, Argerich and Pletnyov to play there. 
and they want they will come and help and bring those artists, which is win and win. I mean, just just a win for us. Last year, I told them, could you please hold on? I will find the <laughs> the funds. So if obviously if you have some support and some people are joining the idea, then we can get the kawaii. And once we do that, then the concert hall needs renovation, a proper and there will be renovation. two grand pianos, an organ. And the organ. You have experience playing in different international festivals, very prestigious ones. Can you name a few? Oh, quite a few. Verbier Festival, Juventus Festival. There are just so many. Brahms Festival, Marlboro. Just, I have been to so, so many festivals. So I believe you play with the most acclaimed musicians. I had the honor to play with some amazing musicians. So I know what it is as an artist. I also help with organization with certain festivals, so I also know what it is to organize. And when when I met Asterix, that was those days when everybody were getting ready to come to Kapan. Everybody were talking about this. I have to say, I have to add on that there are a lot of fest. There, there are, you often might come across to a festival, music festival uh, in Armenia. Usually, it happens in Yerevan. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes in Yumri. Uh, I think, and, and even when I was living there, uh, you know, that was the thing. There, there were very few festivals, and I, and, and I thought that this is just something very exciting. So you immediately shared his, uh, his excitement, his, his insight. No, absolutely. Did you share his vision? Yeah, no, when, when you told me about it a little bit more, I mean, I already heard a little bit from, from Vartan and from friends, and especially, you, you know, Oftentimes, um, well, first of all, correct me if I'm wrong, but that it includes not only classical musicians, but there were musicians, but there were also jazz musicians there and, and folk. Uh, folk, folk musicians. So it was quite um, the range of, of genres were, were mm, wide and which, which I think is very exciting and beautiful because that can bring also different type of audiences and, and um, yeah, attract um different type of people and and that's great it's it's yeah it sounds very exciting and i and i'm, I'm really hoping that i will catch this year <laughs> okay. so but can you please tell tell us um when is the festival happening in kapan so this year the grand opening is 4th of july just coincidentally <laughs> and we the closing of the festival is on the 18th and Robi lakatosh and his band are coming so he will do the closing of the festival. And the first day, uh, 4th of July, we are having the opening of the organ. So it's going to be an organ festival. Last year was a piano festival, kind of because piano was the thing. And this year we are opening the organ, which is actually an exceptionally beautiful instrument. It was the organ of Marinsky Theater for over 50 years. And then somehow in 76, they brought it to Armenia, completely renovated, and then it was just forgotten again, not maintained. And now it sounds amazing because it's, it's fully renovated. Mm -hmm. So uh, with, with the concert that we did today well, and with the fundraising, that's going to help us to finish the works on the organ. And so not, not only we are changing the interior and renovating everything, but also the exterior, uh, it was damaged from the bombs in the 90s war. So The first Artsakh. The first Artsakh war. They, were, they, they, were, they dropped a couple of... So our enemies have this method of uh, going after the most precious uh, things. So they, they bomb the church, they bomb the schools Culture. and cultural thing because this is, this is what we are. We are a nation of culture. And when you when you attack that, you're attacking our identity. When you bomb the Armenian church, it's it's just a building. It's very easy to, but it's deeper than that. I would love to add on that because um, recently, I mean, it has been going on forever. And musicians, and I'm not I'm not talking only about Armenian musicians. In fact, mostly international musicians, the more they interact with Armenian musicians, they want to go to Armenia. They're so curious to, to and, and for musicians, you know, of course, the, the main reason is they want to go and perform in Armenia. They want to interact with the audience. And the more opportunities there are um, for, for that to happen, 
um, it's, it's, it can be better than that. So this is incredible and the vision is just, Sevak's vision is so inspiring and I, the more he talks, I, I just see it in front of my eyes and, 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 and I hope, I hope this every, I, I can see that every year this is just going to develop more and more. Multi-talented people um, like you and many others are very much needed. Your energy, you. your unstoppable energy is needed. You are the future. So I wish um, success. I wish you good health. And um, long live this project.